Aidan done a particularly good job with him as a four-year-old. He had a setback in the spring, and um, he done him well to get him back. But he was a very tough horse. It was a really good race on the day. We won it on, on the day. The steward, we had it. <laughs> we defended it in the stewards, and when we defended it in the appeal system, I suppose, uh, Dal got it. was a little bit, I got tightened him up a bit the last one, the jazz on, on, on Falbury, uh, as, I remember, as I recall. But he was looking for, for a little bit of a miracle run down the middle, so he wasn't getting down the inside anyway. So the best horse went on today. It showed afterwards, it went on, and I beat him. we beat him again in the photo finish in the British Cup. We were always targeting the champion and maybe go on and then as keeping him as a four-year-old, so we were never going to, to, to bottom him as a three-year-old. It was nice you know, after leaving Valley Dial and to come up with another a good horse that quick. It was, it was, it was a lovely timing for me. Um, and um, um, I remember on the day His Highness was late getting in, I think he watched it with the helicopter in the air, so fortunately the straight was long, we got up close home, it was another exciting race and uh, yeah, it was... It, lovely timing that has a moment so I come on at that stage in my life. You were last for pretty much most of the race and I think you turned in with only one behind you. Yeah, Leperstown generally they push the track out here up getting pretty wide and uh, the straight is at its longest. There's always another about 50 yards to play with. He had become a huge name. The English had seen him a few times and were really had taken him to their hearts. It was nice to be able to come home with him and let him prove himself in front of the in front of his home and people turned up that day just to see a superstar you know and um, it's great when that can happen and the victory goes right and everybody has a great day. Of the nine runners Aidan had five he did everything to beat him. Yeah he like, he threw his two best horses at him uh, whilst previously he had thrown one and the pacemakers at him he threw Master Craftsman and Fame and Glory at him uh, the two best horses he had yeah in fairness that day probably Aidan thought at other times we could have done they could have done something different to beat my horse. But I think after that day he suddenly he realized he was dealing with <laughs> in fairness afterwards I remember when he came came into me and he said uh, here that's my hat and thrown in the ring. When you finish kicking around he says hand it back to me. So <laughs> he took defeat well that day. Of the seven wins, was there one which which meant that little bit more than, than the other six? Ah oh, the last one. Because I knew it was the last roll that died. But he was he was just phenomenal, you know. I haven't ridden a better horse in, in all my times, so, you know, still, I still regard him as the best.